working. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. My I tell you now, my uh, heart's we, in my throat. Are we live? We should be, yes. <laughs> Somebody tell us if we're coming through. Oh man, have we had so much trouble. It has just been a nightmare. All because the cupboard monkey decided ten minutes to go. That'll be a great time to update the software. No, 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 no. And then we've then gone through the rigmarole of trying to get the previous version of the software. And then it's had a, a, a strop with the graphics card drivers. It's then had another strop with the, car, um, the drivers for the cameras. It is just unreal. So people let us know, are we actually coming through? No, we were. And then it stopped. So apparently we came and went. It says live now. Right, give me a second. Hang on, hang on. It looks like we might be there. Yeah, we seem to be getting there. <laughs> okay, we seem to be live. Apparently we're live, right. Oh so. my goodness. My heart is... Guys, my heart has been in my throat for this entire thing. Just hoping that it wouldn't crash again this time. I, I pressed one button just without thinking. Because I'm not 100%. I've got a bad headache and I, I'm just not 100%. So when I all loaded ops to start us off, and it came up with update. And I thought, click. Never click. Because we've had camera issues and maybe it's fixed the camera issues. Never. <laughs> up if things are working mostly all right, don't update. Ops' latest version doesn't work <laughs> with NVIDIA's latest uh, drivers, which don't work with Logitech's latest drivers. Everything messed up. I have had to reinstall the drivers for the cameras, the graphics card, the uh, OBS system has been reverted to the version that they released in February, and basically, don't touch anything. Mm -hmm. don't but touch because I've now. got a headache and I wasn't thinking, I pressed update. No, never ever. Not in such so, not ten minutes before we go on there. Well, so we are now live. Uh, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to bring up the uh, thing. Everything seems... To... Oh my goodness, right. It all seems to be working. So I'm going to now <laughs> go and get... A... I'm going to go and compile the list of uh, tonight's virtual stuff. Which it must be said was what I thought you'd gone upstairs to do. I went to look upstairs to, so to set up everything here and make <laughs> it working. So you could jump in and then I could send you the email with the links. Anyway, less jibber-jabber, more going and doing it. <laughs> it's been hell guys it really yeah. has right so anyway belatedly an hour or so late um we are finally claim that it's because of british summertime and we're starting at the time that we were expecting to uh no i think <laughs> technically we'd be starting pst plus one i think we're two hours late not one no we're... um so anyway <laughs> pick a time or whatever works best for us that was it yeah. Big hello to everybody. Um, people are coming in. I, I did. I, you probably saw me post a few bits and pieces in the comments before. Right. We do have a whole load of your model railways to um, show footage of. Zoe will now compile that list, which she was supposed to be doing when, in fact, she decided to come up here and, and click yes to the update. Um, why is that train over there going so slow? So slow, slow. How very strange. Why are you so slow? Huh, it's crashed. Hmm. No, no, it's very peculiar. The, the train has crashed. Not as in crashed, crashed, but the actual decoder's crashed. So, I don't know why, but uh, 7645. Apparently, it's not moving according to this. So, loco 7645. But when I put it on the track, it decides it'll just. Um... Oh, well. You're going to need this at some point. Uh, yes, I will do. So let's put this out of the way and let's pick something that isn't um, deciding to get in on the uh, let's uh, not work properly 
act. <laughs> right. So yeah, as I was saying, gosh, it's been a stressful hour. Um, shall we? Oh, well, a stressful hour and ten minutes. Um, but um, we seem to be getting there. So uh, let's just do it like that. And let's pick five, two, three, seven. Five, two, three, seven. Oh, right. Um, yeah. Anyway, news. Um, I hope you're all coping really well with the. Uh, unfortunately, we're having a an enforced lockdown. Um, strangely enough, I seem to be completely missing a train. Oh, there we go. Six five seven seven. I, everything is messing up. It's just unreal. Six five seven seven. Nine, two, Six five seven seven. It's supposed to be moving. Uh, you know what? Let's reset this. Okay, six five seven seven. There we go. Loco five two one eight. I don't know why everything's messing up. It's just uh, one of those days, really, isn't it? But yeah, I hope you're coping really well with the enforced lockdown. It's um, unusual times we're going through, not just the UK. 1906, not just the UK. It seems pretty much everybody's in lockdown now. Um, so it's one of the reasons that we're doing the virtual model railway exhibition is kind of a little bit of light relief the antidote to self-isolation now let me just get this on the track and hope it works this time so what's that five two three seven so let's get loco five two three seven <laughs> Oh, uh, we can look back and laugh, can't we? So, um, yeah, that seems to work. I don't know what happened there. Uh, effectively, the controller, the gauge master controller, decided to, well, crash, for want of a better word. Sometimes you get these weird crashes, um, and for some reason we're drawing quite a big current, uh, somewhat more than the normal, it has to be said. So... I need to investigate that. Oh no, there we are, it's dropping again. So, <laughs> right, we are going to get on to um, just the trains, but uh, yeah, Chris Whittingham, absolutely right. Hit that like button. Um, <laughs> Ronald Morris says, Hi Jen, finally found a shilling for the meter. I am okay. Oh, grand. Uh, good to hear that people are okay. Mark Wilson, no, unfortunately, the virus will be us with us till August. Yeah, I heard that. Six months. So this is probably going to turn into a pretty regular thing. But it's, it's you know, we've done that list of um, the like, what's on guide with um, live streams. If you know of any others, um, do send the details. What we need is a URL to the YouTube user account don't link to the actual streams link to the, the the account that they're on and also let us know the times that they run at and if it's say a us or an australian stream let us know that so we don't get confused with the times and we'll put them all in as if they're all in the same time zone and um you know then people can work out what's on and when and i think you know this is really important and it's great to see that the community is just pulling together to entertain people because it's so easy to get stir crazy when you're just kind of stuck at home uh, with nothing much to do and um, let me just try and plug that in there we go so you know it's I think it's really important um, I know that um, quite a few people are now starting to publicize that list which is great we let people know out there when they can find live interaction and that's really what it's about it's you know there's a lot of videos on youtube which is great but these live stream interactions give us the opportunity to kind of have that social interaction that the human creature does quite crave so um let's have a look um 
Richard Swiderski says we're yard in loco down. Yeah, and uh, Combat Bunny says on screen chat not working. Interesting. What's gone wrong there? You're right, you know. Why? You are absolutely right. Um, uh, I will. I will raise that with the cupboard monkey. But yeah, I've just noticed that as well. Um, I'm just. Yeah. Um, Don't touch anything. It's all. It's all intricately balanced. Yes. Here comes the cupboard monkey. So hopefully we can fix the chat that's on the screen because at the moment it's not scrolling. Ah, you didn't need it. <laughs> well, it would be kind of nice. Uh, kind of nice. You don't like it most of the time. What are you on about? Oh, you needed to update the thing. Yes, I needed to update the stream because it's decided to change it. Yeah, anyway. Uh, <laughs> and it all smells and you New smell. Mills Model Railway <laughs> says click the arrow at the bottom of on screen chat. I tried that. It's, it's, it's just a graphic. Don't confuse her. She doesn't know the difference between jokes and reality. Yeah, um, says the cupboard monkey doesn't know the difference between update and don't update. I um, do now. That's what counts. Um, Fat Wallet Boy 2 says chat seems fine. Yeah, the actual chat chat at the bottom is fine. It's the bit that you see on the screen. The chat after um, to the side. Is, um, for whatever reason, it's not updating. Uh, yeah, Flymo Chairman 1. Yeah, touch now. I'm training her to do that, but it, it's got a little bit of a way to go. Um, it doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Alison Kelly says Saturday 9 p.m. Australian Western Standard Time each week is back on track live with the Trackside team. If you can email that details to Zoe, spelled Z O E, at Zoe Robinson dot com, um, and then Zoe will get that added to the list over the next few days. That would be brilliant if you could do that. And anybody else as well, if you know of any other lists that are not on the program guide list, which is on my website, um, what what's happening? I'm trying to get the chat to work. Okay, I've got a chat working. Um, why is everything? Is this because you've had to? Re I've had to restart it. So just give me a moment. <laughs> With 300. People are probably going, actually, it. that's nicer without the chat on. Yeah, because you can't see your face. Oh, that's interesting. It all comes up on screen what you're doing. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Naturally. Mm. Ian Hodgson says, um, is this, the this is the first live stream I've ever watched. Well, welcome aboard. <laughs> um, I'm it's sorry. not normally this bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, um, if you're just joining us, the reason for why the live stream is A, late, and B, not quite working properly, is because the cupboard monkey decided 10 minutes to go before we were going live, I know, let's update OBS, which is the software that we use to control all the cameras. Wasn't, and wasn't as, quite right like that. As, it sounds better <clears throat> this way. Um, as predicted, uh, basically it, it messed up, so we've spent an hour, a desperate hour, trying to fix everything so um strangely enough on screen but the, oh the but are, we, are we missing some of the cameras now all of a sudden i have a feeling we might be oh my god sakes see normally what i would do is i would come up and i would carefully load up obs and then without updating it i would cycle through the cameras and make sure everything was working before we go live but unfortunately this has put us in the awkward position where i haven't been able to do the usual routine and as a consequence it's broken um oh there's there's a camera um you love it when the cameras work uh yeah i do actually and what i really do hate is when they don't um <coughs> uh ah Apparently, back on track is already on the list, so um, that's that's good. So I uh, got there before you. Um, uh, hi there, Ollie from Wardle Road. Um, it's all going to look really weird, guys. I know it's just oh, this is how I it hope, is. Hope your dad's getting better. Sorry to hear about that. Um, 
Mark Wilson says, I think all the main YouTubers should be given the same task to do over a couple of weeks. Like a diorama in a shoebox. And then we can all mark them by likes. Um, interesting idea. The majority of these uh, cameras are just not turning off. Right, well, I, I'm, unfortunately there's nothing I can do with that now because you started this great stream. I know, I know. I'm just... Through. Jen, I did. I tried. I, I was desperately trying to get it on. Please stop saying it's my fault. Okay. It was right. one mistake. Alison Kelly. The email address is Zoe, spelt Z-O-E, at zoerobinson.com is the email address to send that through to. Um, Anfield Road layout in the loft. Hi to you. Um, FMR Station House. Good evening to you. Um, Leslie Gilpin says you should be doing those changes to music. <laughs> uh, Mini Wistaston Junction. Um, good evening to you. How are you doing? Not seeing you in the chat actually for a while. I hope everything's all right. Um, but what we're going to do is the Cupboard Monkey is going to go back now to collating all of your videos that you've been sending through really been looking forward to these and we will go into the virtual model railway exhibition now um a few little snippets of news that i'm going to disseminate uh rails of sheffield mail order is still open still running the shop is shut as are all the other shops and about they're considered non-essential um, but I've spoken to Oliver Davies and he said the mail order is still running as per usual. I believe the same is happening at the moment with Happens, but I haven't confirmed that with them. Um, but certainly as far as I'm aware, if you order mail order, that's all going to get processed. It may take a little while longer for two different reasons. One, they've obviously got to isolate within the premises as well, so there may be less staff in there too which means orders may take a little bit slower to go through. Um, also, they're getting a lot more orders. There's a lot more people putting orders in as well, which has increased the volume. But the other important thing is that postal and delivery systems as well are being somewhat overwhelmed, so that may slow down the delivery window. But they, they wanted to let me know that things are still running. So if you want to mail order anything um, for doing your build, your know, keeping yourself occupied, great things to do, um, plenty of time to do it all of a sudden, um, then you can still get those supplies, mail order, but do check their website first. Um, uh, Will Watson, Rails of Sheffield still taking orders. Does anybody know, can anybody confirm um, is Hatton still taking orders? Because I know that they put out last week about winding down by Thursday, but I, I think that things may have moved on. So I've not seen an official um, um, la uh, email or anything from Hattons, but I wonder whether anybody knew whether um, they're still taking orders. And indeed, if you know of any other model shop, support your local model shop. Any local model shop that is doing mail order, then do feel free to let us know, because the more of these businesses that we can support in these troubling times, the better. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I did have some other news, but in struggling to get OBS up and running, I've, um, <laughs> I, I, my brain has misplaced it. Right, we're going to do something quite daring here. We're going to now try and cycle through the cameras and get some different views. It won't work. Um, Not so, unless you do your normal workaround. Uh, just bear with me. It's not bear in here. So there we are. The cameras are starting to work because this is my normal workaround. Boom. Um, what updates have I been doing up here in the loft? Not a lot, really. We've um, updated OBS. We've updated uh, <laughs> the, the, the graphics said, card. The less said about that, the better, I think. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I've got... It feels like somebody's sprinkling dry dust on the back of my throat. I do hope that that is not, um, not early symptoms. But, um, you know, obviously... Uh, we'll have I'm, to put you down if you do for the good of the state. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> but um, uh, Jonesy Tyne and Weir Transport says, Hi, how's you, Jenny? How's you coping with uh, lockdown? Uh, we're doing all right. See, I'm classed as a key worker. so You're classed as something. Yeah, so for the... Um, <coughs> oh, coughs and spluttering. Oh, it's allergies. I'm full of allergies. 
Mm, yeah, because of course we had some lovely weather and all the trees are starting to uh, blossom. Which, yeah, uh, the trees saw that I wasn't suffering grass. enough and decided to add a, yeah, add yeah. a bit more. Um, but certainly, um, yeah, I'm classed as a key worker, so uh, I'm I'm out there making sure that um, you still have food to go and panic by. She's out there making keys. Yeah. And actually, what um, I will say to you all, um, certainly in the UK, can't speak for other countries, but um, I have been out on my, my designated exercise I combined with getting milk from the shop. And the shops are still very barren in a lot of areas. But given that some of the people that, um, well, some of the premises that I've been visiting as part of my uh, day job are the food manufacturers for a lot of that stuff i can tell you from first-hand experience that there is no problem with supply from the factories making the food products um they're actually pulling triple shifts at the moment you know they're, they're running 24 hours a day seven days a week to keep up with the demand the problem in the shops is simply down to people buying it there is no actual shortage so i just want to get that out there just to let people know uh, Leslie Gilpin says, I had a hint of hay fever last week too when going for my local exercise and shop. Yeah, um, I, th I think um, things are starting to blossom a little bit with the nice weather we've been having. And so that's, um, you know, that's not going to help a lot of people with... No, uh, it's not. It's making me mm. cry. All <laughs> uh, oh, right. Ooh, ooh, uh, Richard ooh. Swiderski says, Hattons are still taking orders. So that's uh, good to know. Why am I appearing on screen? Because I'm moving all the stuff around and making sure all the chats work. Right. right. Your middle wheel yard one, that camera over there is not working. Um, I will intermittently try it and I unplug it and re-plug it in. Okay, we have seven links for various railways. Okay, well let me just... Uh, right, uh, Bob81MC says Peter's spares mail order only. Mark Wilson wants to see the TARDIS. Um, right over in the corner, because Jenny hid it from me last time. Yeah, Jenny. Because Jenny's naughty and smells. I smell nice. I smell of roses. Right. There you go, cupboard monkey. You can play with the TARDIS now. Yes. Um, wow. You, wow. You, Mark, you've wow. really, really, Mark Wilson, opened a can of worms there. Mark Wilson says, that cough sounded like my old Ford Escort trying to start. Oh gosh, yes, my grandfather had a Ford Escort. A, um, I think his was C, C Reg, so 1985. He bought it brand new and um, by sort of around 2000, it was getting a little bit like it, it, liked, it liked to cough when starting. Norbert Roll says, Antics Online in UK is taking orders too. Bought a new loco yesterday. Um, yeah, Swindon 1969, absolutely true. There's not a shortage of supply, there's a surplus of idiots. There's Fat, a shortage of brain. Fat Wallet Boy 2, I was really bad in December and I've never quite felt okay since. Very mild sore throat, not gone away. Maybe I've had COVID, maybe others not. Um, yeah, it's. I think a lot more people have probably had it than realised. Um, Network Noobs says hi, Auntie Jenny. Hello to you. I believe that's probably Zach. So uh, it's, uh, my little nephew Zach. So hello to you. Okay, Ian so Hodgson nice says, "What is the?" Yeah. Ian Hodgson says, "What is the loco running round on the higher line?" That is a Hornby J15, and it will be the subject of um, probably next week's Saturday video. As a review, um, but for the moment you get a sneak peek of the Hornby um, uh, J15. I think that's going to fall off or cause an issue at some point. Would be my guess there. It's certainly rubbing against the lovely finish of my. I tell you what. I tell you what. You I just did it there as a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's do it properly, shall we? Oh, well, if you must fiddle about. Yes, if you must fiddle about, do it, do it properly. There That's, we go. That needs a bit more strength, by the way, apart from the power. I was having trouble getting up this uh, bank. Oh, we need to clean. Okay, guys, uh, we've got some... We've got seven of your layouts to have a look at. Yeah, actually, let's get on with... 
virtual model row exhibition so let's get on with uh, this is from um, Eric Bray Eric Bray so um, we're gonna just queue that up yes Eric Bray friend with the and the friend of the channel as uh, of course everyone is <laughs> so um, let's bring this up now and this is the first of your model railways uh, so here we go take it away okay, that's a lot of uh, running stock well, yeah, it's like you can never have too much. It's not possible to have too much model railway rolling stock. Here we go. Whoa. So it's... This is kind of your era, isn't it? Hmm. Hold on. Oh. You've crashed it. You've crashed it. What are you doing, woman? That's annoying, isn't it? As soon as you try and do something, it goes, goes oh no, we want your undivided attention to deal with this. Almost uh, like what was happening with me earlier on. Is that it? Is he running trains using a bit or a car radio remote control. radio control? That's pretty smart. Mm. Oh, is that what he's put into that train? We, it, this would have helped if we had sound, but I had to turn it down because you know what happens. Mm. So actually, that is quite interesting. Radio, radio controlled. Um, I can see. I like it. Yeah. Oh, I see. You've got the Pullman observation car as well. Pullman observation cars are cool. Um, so. Where's my phone gone? There you, it is. You shoved it to somewhere. Oh, I like the model aeroplane. That's your thing as well, isn't it? Uh, I think it's a Spitfire, but I can't mm. quite tell from that angle. Cracky, TR7. This is a big a layout. Lift, uh, yeah, I think the TR7 did have... Yeah, the TR7 did have pop-up headlights. That is a big layout, that. Uh, <coughs> my goodness. There's a great amount... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> There's I'll get you a beer in a minute, don't worry. And uh, there's a, a carver on the wine rack. <laughs> um, it's a good size, actually. Yeah. You... What's going on? Mm. That's Why nice. That suddenly sped up. He is, you know, he's controlling it via the. Uh... He really is. It's the. He's got a radio control train. It's pretty sweet. <coughs> <coughs> I am very impressed with that. That is good. So, oh, I think he's got a yes. He's uh -huh. got a, 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 a trackside cam. No, an on train. An on train cam is what I meant. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. This is pretty sweet. So we're not on board the radio controlled one here. We're on board this other one. I always do like these on board shots and it gives uh, you a proper look at what's going on as well. Yeah, um, it reminds me a lot of when we had trains running around the garden because um, if you have things like the bogey bolsters or well trolls like that between the camera and the locomotive you get this lovely effect where you can see down the train. Yeah. So it is always a, a good point of view angle. Yeah, the undulation mm. on the track as well is quite interesting. Mm. Mark That's Wilson says cool. the attic needs to go into quarantine. <laughs> no, it's just um, dust allergy. Yeah, you've but, got uh, allergies to the stuff in the air as well as I have. Yeah, I don't know why. That one keeps speeding up. Oh, that didn't sound good. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it working. Properly. From this angle, it does look like a Spitfire. Mm. It's either the Spitfire or the Hawker Hurricane. Which did most of the fighting, by the way. Uh, the Spitfire okay. got uh, all the credit. Yeah, covered man to turn the nerd off. I can't help mm. it. I'm, a, I'm a, an error nerd. Mm. But yeah, it's always nice to Is see Coca Cola. The, um, I don't know. If you didn't drink it all, then yes. Mm. Uh, but yeah, Mark Wilson says the attic needs to go to quarantine. But we are monitoring the situation. Obviously, we'll be. Uh, you know, um, making sure that we're not spreading lurgy everywhere, but um, mm. that is pretty cool. So let's come back to uh, yeah, Alison Kelly says that's Hello. very clever controlling low close by 2.4 yeah. gigahertz. Uh, why am I on screen? Because I brought us back up onto whichever camera I thought might work just so that uh, we could get back onto the screen. Because mm. that way we don't show people your emails, Jen, when I'm picking oh, the next right. live yeah, stream. Oh, right, yeah, 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 that does, yeah. <laughs> Norman Rowe, turn the nerd off, yeah. It's like there should be a, a setting, it's like, just turn the nerd down. I'm sorry, <laughs> are you annoyed by my nerdness? Yeah. Uh, Mark Wilson says, maybe you need a portable air filter to clean the attic dust. It's not normally an issue, it has to be said. Just turn um, your instruction fan on. 
Um, but I'm I'm also no, it's not plugged in. Uh, You're not plugged in. No. This whole system's not plugged in. Yeah, okay, come on, behave yourself. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. I'm just de-stressing. Right. Um. Ah, burning brake banner. Yes, in one. the train has uh, sent us a very interesting one, yeah. which I thought we would jump to now. Um. Yeah. So I'm I'm actually really interested to see this. You'll be seeing on the street, it's got a, um, I'm assuming a Seuss smoke generator and flickering light effect. And it's really well done. It, it's, it is a very eye-catching effect. Um, I'd be really worried, I'd be looking at that and going, it's really on fire. You could have used something like that for some effects in the World of Worlds layout, couldn't oh, you? We, well, we did, apart from this, the smoke unit. We, um, um, oh, apparently we're on screen. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Is that what you were trying to do? Yeah. Right. Oh, stop it. This is the louder equivalent of what was happening with me while I was trying to fix your computer. Right. Change your choo-choo. Yeah, the train's been really naughty. So. Naughty. Yeah. I'm really impressed with that burning yeah. train. Though. That it burning brake van, um, that <coughs> is very impressive. In the train, you did well. Yeah, uh, as an effect, it's... It works really well. I mean, in terms of, um, I think after a while you'd get a bit nervous going, is it really on fire? Yeah, did, uh, is it working or did, is it really, <laughs> really not working? Yeah. Or, no, is it working or is it working far too well? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, cause, um, it's one of the things oh, you do me. see on a lot of layouts is the, the burnt out breakdown. So unfortunately, the, uh, the ne'er-do-wells... Um, yeah. went through a phase of quite liking to set fire to things. Um, so it, I suppose it's an iteration of that, and it brings something extra to the um, to, to the party, so to speak. Mm. Right, did you say there was a uh, bonk that you wanted? Uh, the, well, what we'll do is, why don't you wait until I've finished doing what I'm doing, so then I can talk to the nice people. Um, but, but then that wouldn't annoy you. Yeah, no, you're doing that just fine, you know. <laughs> well, I'm going to go and try and find some Coca-Cola so I can get rid of my... Um, yeah, my well, pop. bring me a nice wine glass and... Put some wine in it? No, the Carver. Ah, Savar. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Savar Beatrice. Right. So, what I'm going to do is... Actually, I'm going to change the camera so you don't get to see my ju my baggy jumper. So, um, oh, we have that seen an awful lot. Why that camera doesn't want to work? Neither does that one. Why? Why is that one not working? Um, let me just try and ah, oh, come on! Right. Uh, bish bash bosh boosh. I'm just going to try and force resetting the cameras by unplugging them and popping them back in. And same with this one. So, <clears throat> unplug, replug. Oh, I don't know which one is that trying to be. Let's just. Aha! There we go. Ho oh ho! Right, six. We're gonna get the camera. Oh yes, I believe the patented Jenny method of hitting things until they work has uh, panned out. Right, I'm just gonna change this train because that other one I decided to um, short out every time. So uh, it's the cameras. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, busy, busy, busy. There's your supper. Right. 1392. Talk to the nice people while I go and sort myself out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, sorry, I just. Uh... Oh, no! I'm off the track. Gosh, what are you doing to me, silly train? <laughs> right. 
Right. Oh, sorry about this. Just trying to get things to work. Oh, I can see it being one of those sort of nights. But we've got some more of your videos coming up. But let's have a look at some of the uh, um, some of the comments. James Moody said we got some very old chat when you switch to that camera. I have uh, a feeling that um, uh, the cupboard monkey hasn't updated. Uh, um, uh, I, I I can't hear what you're saying. Yeah, don't worry. Alison Kelly, the only thing I worry about with tooth smoke generators, they leave oil everywhere. And um, I must admit, I've not really played around with smoke generators. That have not been a thing that I've ever kind of delved into. Um, I know that Les has. Now, I, I would really, um, quite missing Les, actually. Um, he escaped from the modelling dungeon. <laughs> no, he, he's um, in self-isolation, so... Uh, what on earth? I'm, I'm looking at a very, very strange... Oh, how do we get into this bottle? What on earth is that? Right. So apparently, um, there we go. This bottle I don't know if you can see that. Um, not sure how we're supposed to get into it. It just kind of <laughs> doesn't want to let me in. It's got some weird plastic thing going on. Hmm. Huh. That is most peculiar. Ah, right, I see. I see. <laughs> is this where you get to watch Jenny get a face full of weird designed cork? I, I thought we were trying to cut down on our plastic usage. Now, I could be wrong, but plastic bad? Yeah, guys? I don't like these. Quite apart from being loaded down with huge amounts of lemon plastic, um, getting that plastic off without shooting a cork in your face does appear to be quite a difficult proposition. Ah, here we go. Oh, is that it? <laughs> oh my word, that reseals itself. I have never come across a toilet. Where's the, the, the sigh of a contented bottle of booze? That is most intriguing. I'll keep hold of that because we can reseal the bottle afterwards. Um, so yeah, right. Let's try and find... I have a feeling... Oh no, that is updating. That is updating. Um... <clears throat> Big Sid wants an A4 running at speed. Um, we, we can sort that out. Uh, CSX Rensville, yes, the headlight motors, when they went wrong, it looked like... Oh, right, the... Uh, oh, yes, the TR7. Um, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. Um, yeah, New Mills Model Railway, that bottle looks like a Crystal Maze challenge, very much. Duck Now All, says Will Watson. Uh, oh, Somerset Andy, the Class 47. You're absolutely right. Um, this is the Class 47 that Somerset Andy sent me. And incredibly, incredibly generous. So, uh, let's put that on. And I will get an A4 as well in a moment. So, let's just go and find... Let's put the 47 on. Okay, 47, and it's number 4734. <laughs>
There is the 47 from uh, Somerset Andy. Can't find it. There you go. Right. Um, so, A4. A4 running at speed. So, I think we should... Let's try and find that other 25. Cough. I'm going to have to watch out for that. Mm. <coughs> yeah, that cough doesn't sound good. I think, I think I'm coming down with something. Alright, A4. Oh, get lost, silly thing. Oh, dear. I guess we just step back. Yes, yeah. I just hate it when people try and try and fault find for you without having any understanding about what's going on. Right. I just asked because I was sat there and put my phone on top of stuff. So you know. It's all right. Know. Okay, sixty twenty-six. Okay, so I'm finally here. Huh. 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 Oh. oh my goodness. Is your choo choo gone? It is, yeah. Is it gone choo choo? John A. Dawson says hello, Jenny, Zoe, and all the model railroaders from across the pond in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Hope everyone is staying safe. Not uh, if you're in Niagara Falls, literally. Then get um, out, man. Uh, Norman Rose says, Is that a genie's bottle? I think that's talking about the carver, definitely, yeah. If you rub um, it, does it make you a wish? Uh, Ron Stanbridge, and it's about the smoke unit. The trick is not to put too much oil in the unit. Yeah, absolutely right. Um, I know if you flood it, um, then it tends to spit because it, it, it boils the oil and it uh, doesn't really have anywhere for it to go other than spatting droplets out the chimney. Uh, hang on, are you telling me that uh, modern model railways have the same technology in them as an essential oil burner from the 90s? Uh, yeah. I think actually what you should be thinking is that essential oil burners from the 90s have the same technology in them as model railway locomotives from the 1970s. Look at this. No matter which... Um, can you move that mug for me? You um, calling me a mug? Yep. Well, um, I spend all day working hard for you, so yeah, I must be. Um, just want to follow the line of thought about a vape machine, but maybe not. Not sure whether to bother being part of a modeler. Uh, part of being a modeler, I do suppose. Yeah, I must admit, we thought about vaping um, smoke for smoke effects when we did GMRC. Um, it could work, but we didn't pursue that exploration. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it, it is a, a doer, actually. Uh, I think it would work. Combat Bunny, absolutely right. Smash that like button. Thank you very much. Be careful. Thank you. I don't want your booze. What are you on about? No, you nearly knocked it over. Right, um, are you still doing comments or are we going on to the next uh, video um, for I'm the tour? I'm just going to have a quick look through it. I'm skipping okay. through. I'm just going to lie down here and ah, go right. to sleep. Somerset Andy, wow, you've got sand on it. Is that a TTS decoder? Absolutely right it is. Um, where's it gone? Uh, oh, is this your excuse to play choo-choos? Yeah, um, that is a TTS sound decoder. Um, another viewer to the channel. It's really gonna... noisy. Yeah, there we are. I'll turn it off then. <clears throat> another viewer to the channel was very, very kind to actually offer to send through a TTS Class 47 sound decoder uh, and speaker. Um, so I was actually able to sound fit it. So I do feel very, very um, uh, honoured that you guys were so generous. So thank you very, very much. I'm going to turn the sound off on those. Um, 
Mark Wilson, run the black A4. The black A4 isn't mine. I said in the review it was a loner. Um, so unfortunately the black A4 is put away and uh, waiting to be packaged up to be sent back. Um, Brian... Just wait until we get the next uh, running video. Mm. Brian W says, what did this whole outfit set you back? Um, never add it up. It's one of the, 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 the golden rules of uh, railway modelling is never ever add up what you spent because it will be a shocking figure that will make you think that you could actually have afforded a house or a brand new car it's, a, it's always a lot of money ne I'm never go you there. probably got the best part of 10 grand in here um if you look at the materials and everything as well probably um yeah ron stammer's a4 is tts sound as well um uh, let's have a look. Uh, right, in the train says, thanks for showing the video. You're absolutely welcome. Um, I'm going to try and get to... Right, here we are. Put pa patchouli oil in your loco. I presume that's one of the essential oils. It is. Uh, Leslie Gilpin, DP1 was at the end of Crimson and Cream livery, so the odd one might be okay. Oh, Crimson and Cream. Um, or Mark one's maroon. Um... Oh, Somerset Andy, uh, you're absolutely welcome, and thank you ever so much for sending me that uh, Class 47. Uh, I think it was uh, because I, I'd commented that uh, a Class 47 was a gaping omission in my fleet, and you were incredibly kind to send me. Mark Wilson says, please can you avoid using the word coochoo? Coochoo? Choo-choo. Oh, right. Right, choo <laughs> you, you want us to stop saying choo-choo? Why? The Blackwood uh, Engage modeler wants us to run something over the bridge, so... Oh, that's been a while. Does the bridge still work? Of course it works. I was using it uh, comparatively recently. So, 5218, let's... Why are the lights not working? There we go. So, there we are. Class 25 going across the bridge and there we are <laughs> oh no it's being chased by the finger of death you knock over any of my signals or telegraph poles okay and I w why is that oh is it come off the track that's weird why did I just suddenly because the world hates you and wants you to suffer. It's off the track. Yeah. It's gone off the rails, man. Yeah. <coughs> 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 I'm definitely coming down with something. So there we are. That one, one doesn't like to go, does it? And it's probably a bit of dirt on the wheels or the track or something. Yeah. Rub it off would, with, you, with the green you, hand. Would you the green hand of destiny. Well, there you are. Ah, not me. You don't prod me. <laughs> I'll prod you all I want. No, you won't. Hey, right, hey. shall we have the next video? Mm hmm Oakley doakley. So, in this virtual model railway exhibition, let's bring up the next video. This um, one is Model Railway Tour from March 2020. The spinning beach ball of death. Ah, uh, that's fine. Which means the Wi-Fi's dropped out. Don't worry. Keep going with the, the review. Don't worry. Well, not a roof, you know, in the, the chat. And I like the signal as well. Is that one of the ratio signals or one of the day pole ones? Oh, look, yes, it's dropped out. So, are we, are there we, we are. We're uh, back. Oh, yeah. Stephen Deakin says frozen circle of doom. Looks like we're back. And we're back. I'm really sorry about this. Unfortunately, there's an awful lot of people on the yeah. internet. Other people are taking <laughs> up our internet. Mm. We need but to reclaim it. Yeah, we will do. But don't forget to. Sorry, what? You just knocked me. Why? I was I was I was trying to trying to like give you a prod, but it was a bit of a harder prod than I thought. Um, but don't forget to hit that like button and share this stream too. Let other people know that we're uh, doing this. Uh, get them all on. Uh, let's see how many people we can get on. Um, <clears throat> are you going to talk about the the layout that's on screen, Jen? That's part of what we're doing here. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I was just trying to read some comments. Um, but yeah. 
I like how you're putting together that uh, that tunnel there, uh, the hillside even. And it's one of the things I think is very important when you're making stuff like scenery. Did you mean to leave a track cleaning rubber on here? Uh, no, I didn't, funnily enough. But, uh, right. yeah, I'm just, uh, while we're having a look at your layout of the mills, <laughs> I just had to point out that Jen had left a track cleaning rubber on the track and a train was stuck behind it. Uh, what actually happened was I was cleaning the track and then one of the other locomotives deceitfully went and um, tried to demand all of my attention. Yeah, well that happened. Succeeded. Um, but yeah, definitely, we, uh, it's, uh, it's always nice to make the, the hillside, the topography, it's a good word, write that down, we must use it more in everyday conversation, but the topography um, uh, feel like the, 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 the trains fit into a natural landscape. Um, it's something that I've, I've always, always thought is really important, and it's nice to see how the, the hillside Seeing is this, coming uh, together layout to under do construction. That. The um, software package that you're using to actually um, plan out stuff, it, it's it's quite interesting how you know to see how other people plan out their layouts. And that's quite a nice uh, engine shed. Is that one of the Metcalf models? Because it's really nice. Yeah, we keep losing uh, connection. Uh, we're, we're here at the moment. Are we? Are we right? Um, I, I think the I, the problem is there's far too many people trying to use the the internet. Mm -hmm. We're all on lockdown, so there's not much else to do apart from browse Netflix. But we only have 178 people watching. This seems no, no. Not uh, people watching. It doesn't matter how many people. We mm. could have a million people watching. We're sending a signal to YouTube. It's YouTube's problem to get it out to everyone. The problem we have is all of our neighbours are online. There is that. So obviously we're we're beholden to the upload speed. Yeah. Which so is... our contention rates bad. This mm. is what this is why the idea of free broadband to everyone is a bad idea because you need... give it to everyone and it won't work anymore. No politics. It's not politics. It's technology. Broadband mm. requires fewer people to be online. Brian W says, my favourite train is the Trump train. Oh, that was a sketch on um, uh, American TV, I think. Uh, Delta Junction, James. Um, oh, oh look at that. That looks real. And that is nice. And is that one of the Hardy's Hobbies deer? Because that is a really nice deer. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And I like the signal. Um, I'm guessing a ratio kit looking at that, but that is really nicely built. He's uh, done very well with this. Fly, can... fly my chairman one says ping the like button. Thank you very much. Uh, the, you like those lamps, don't you? Use the lamps them. are good. I'm, I'm actually um, really admiring the ground cover. I recognise that bottle, that yellow bottle. I never got on <laughs> with the Gage Master Puffer bottle. I don't know whether you um, you did better with it um, yourself, but uh, I, I couldn't get the Puffer bottle to really work particularly. Mark Wilson says, what's your oldest train, Jenny? Um, oldest? Well, it'd be my childhood Humby Double O, but it doesn't, it, it isn't up here. It's uh, um, at my parents' house. And Ian Definitely. Hodgson says, roughly how many locos do you have in your collection? About 200. Yeah, I thought it was Not including the old Humby Double O stuff. Uh, Leslie Gilpin says, whose layout is this? This is uh, New Mills Model Railway, isn't it? Just quickly drop it down to see. Yeah. Uh, New Mills Model Railway, yes. <coughs> and he's doing really good good work here. Mm. I'm liking the way that uh, he's not brushed it. And ah. Every bit's coming together piece by piece, and it's looking pretty damn good. Uh, Deer is by Nock, um, says New Mills Model Railway. You do Railway. like Nock, don't you? Mm. They do have a good range of uh, various you bits and them. pieces. Yeah. Uh, signal, yes, ratio kit. Lamps are by Visman. Uh, and Puffer Bottle does take an age to use. Um, Gordon Waller says, tell the neighbours to get off their broadband. Um, yeah. yeah, we've got more important things. We're looking at uh, locals here. Yeah, fire up the microwave as far away from our router as possible and see how many people you can take out. No. <laughs> that sounds like effort. Uh, Manthony, 1956. Hi to you, not seen you on here in uh, a little while. Says, actually, the problem in my area is Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime... They take too much bandwidth, which jams up the private users. I suspect there's a lot of that around here as well. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so he's got a very good layout here. Shall we uh, move yeah. on? Um, as a, 
think we're near the yeah we're near the end of the video. But yeah, I like the hillside. Um, the attention to scenic detail is really good as well. So very big thank you to uh, um, uh, New Mills New Mills Model Railway for that. Uh, Alison Kelly asks, do you have any Helgen Garrett's? I don't have a Helgen Garrett, but I would really love to get one, I have to say. So, um, Helgen Garrett is on my, my hit list, so to speak, but they are quite expensive, about £200. Um, We're not coming up on screen again. There we are. There we are. There yeah. you are. They're I'm right. not coming up on screen, I'm on the floor. She didn't bring me a chair, she just kept berating me for breaking her computer. Uh, de -de -de -de. Um, right, um, Ian Hodgson, what is your favourite loco? I do get asked this time and time again. It's got to be the Brighton Atlantic, H1 Atlantic, in London, Brighton and South Coast Railway, Burnt Umber. So, um, do we not have another video, or are we... Um... We do, but I thought you'd want to go through the comments. Yeah, no worries. Uh, New Mills Mother Railway says, thank you guys, the lockdown has kept me busy. Mm. She's eating my hand, man. Oh, yeah. Um, bit of a finger. Down, I think there's a lot of people throwing a lot of uh, time into their hobbies, which in many respects is a good thing. Perhaps the nation will rediscover their love of hobbies. Um, you yeah, know, not just model railways, a lot of other things besides. Yeah, it's stamp heard, collecting or micro-nationalism. You no, know, I've heard a lot of things like um, sewing equipment and embroidery equipment has been strong sellers, mail order. Um, pool tables as well. A lot of people buying pool tables. I'd like a pool <coughs> table, but we haven't got anywhere to put it. Mini Wistaston Junction says 190 watching, but only 14 likes. That does. Well, that's seem... a point. Have I liked it? No, you haven't. I might have. So uh, don't forget to hit that like button uh, because it massages my ego and makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, she needs and an I, ego I'm, massage. I'm I'm starting to... 68 likes according to what oh, I've got here. Right. Yes, and um, it doesn't necessarily update immediately, but um, if you haven't um, hit the like button, then don't forget to do that. And also share it too. Let other people know that uh, we're online and live at the moment. Get them to come and join us because there's an awful lot of people. I think that's struggling with, with that in there. No, it's just struggling. Yeah. So I'm going to take those off. Help it take a bit of weight off. Mm. And there's a lot of people who... Um, um, what was I talking about? I got distracted. <laughs> you were talking about getting people to share. Yeah, um, and there's a lot of people <laughs> in lockdown isolation, and uh, it, it's nice to just let them know that there's human contact out there to interact with safely in these days of um, self-isolation. Nobody has to be alone on the internet. It's one of the reasons that we've been trying to promote the YouTube uh, live stream program guide, just to let people know what live streams, live content there is going on at any one time and hopefully we'll be able to find enough people who will submit their details that we can end up with effectively 24 hours a day seven days a week live stream content it's very important to uh, keep in touch uh, i know my father has kind of gone back into some of his earlier hobbies um he's actually scratch building model battleships uh, which is something i vaguely remember him doing that when i was very very young but he hasn't done it in possibly 35 to 40 years um so you know he, i've got him some supplies and he's he's gone back into doing that brockwell lane says i'm running out of jobs on the railway so i'm building a groom and hellcat and that's the thing as well, actually, that, you know, you, you can do more than just model railways. I'm guessing DIY as well is doing quite well. Um, but one of the things that struck me is that up here on Weir Yard, I quite like the idea of building some uh, correctly scaled model aeroplanes and um, hanging them on strings sort of from underneath the purlins might be quite nice. Let's see, can we get another angle? Yeah, if you do decide to do that, get a Cessna 172 and I'll build it for you. Uh, are they the ones that nobody makes a model of? Um, I think Italieri make a model of it. Uh, it depends on the scale. I know. They have to be sort of, um, I would accept um, like 176 or smaller. Smaller would be like, you know, these are 
these are big, those are far away. Yeah, so I get the idea. False perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, something like 183 might be a good scale. Though you can get, um, I can't remember the manufacturer, but you can get um, a Boeing 747, which is only about yay long, uh, which is quite an interesting little kit which is really good for forced perspective but we're actually supposed to be trying to show just the model railway so let's just get me off screen and then you can see the models a little bit better and don't forget as well that if you want to submit your model railway videos for next week uh, send them to zoe at zoe robinson dot com and that's zoe spelled z-o-e there's no y on the end uh, yeah, so and i'm not american uh, no, different strokes for different folks, yes. but um, it's Z-O-E, uh, and uh, send us the URL, and just remember, it has to be your video from your channel of your model. Oh, I saw it doing you that. You think you were bulky walky. I saw it doing that. It was so deceitful. Oh, dear me. Well, while she's faffing about, let's get back to another... Uh, Layout, let's have a look at what we've got here. Mm. Let's have a look. Okay. Can I find mm. the thing? Can I find There it is. Right, what have we got today? We have Tim Pullen. So Tim Pullen sent this in, uh, testing his new uh, camera with a few f run bys of American trains. Ah, brilliant. So I thought that might be interesting for everyone. Mm hmm. Webcam and browser, yes. So here we go. Uh, let's let that load up a bit. Here we are. Oh my goodness, Jen. Look at how bright and nice that looks. That is lovely. Um, I particularly like all the detail as well. And uh, is that a photographic vaccine? I was vaccine? wondering that myself. But it, it it's works hard to so see. well. Yeah. That is very nicely done. I like the, it's like a surveyor or something at the front with all yeah. the track. That's really nice. Uh, static grass lumps. In fact, actually, the back scene does give that great illusion of depth. But if you look, the back scene is immediately behind that uh, SD40. Yeah, I was trying to see where the join yeah. was. but I, it... and That's actually a really good use of back scene. I'm really impressed with that. Mm. The model size. Wow, that's a chunky one wolf mm. pretty damn good yeah. how can junction absolutely right z o e no y um combat bunny says old chat on screen shouldn't um, be not on no it must be one of the other angles uh, i'll check the, them out when we're finished one of this. the other angles um, oh i like the double i like yeah the double stack that is mm. really cool because of course in the us it's got a much um they've got a much more generous loading gauge um because they looked at what we had over here and went like your railways but we'll make them bigger <laughs> well of course uh, they're going longer distances so mm. From an economics point of view, you want to take as much as you can in one go. Mm. Ian the Train says, American Railroad modelling can be brilliant. That's very Look good. Look at that, the way he's got the perspective and the camera going yeah. through the industrial part. Um, it's It does work really well, and it's something that I tried to do with um, uh, my industrial model, mm. uh, the one that I take to exhibitions. If you kind of force the eye to look at the model through gaps in other buildings and other bits of industry, it really does add to the interest. And there's so much going on there. I like the, the, the grassy knoll in the foreground with yeah. all the different plants. The oh, plant. it looks lovely. There is so much interest in <laughs> there. That is lovely. And it's what I always say about the need to have um, a depth Stuff going of colour, but also textures. Mm -hmm. And that has got both of those in, in spades. You know, talking about your exhibition layout, one of these times we should do a uh, a live session from Grove Street Yard. How do you mean? It's only small. We would set a couple of cameras up in the thing. Oh, nice, to, nice use of photos as well as we get at different angles. Mm -hmm. If we set a couple of cameras up in Grove Street Yard and pointed at them, 
and uh, use the Mac instead of uh, your setup here. Mm. We could get a live stream from somewhere else. I like the, the kind of the grass between the concrete sets as well. Mm. It's really nice where you get that kind of slightly overgrown feel. But that grassy knot. That is so is good. It's really, so well done. Really nice. Ooh, that pumpkin patch at the foreground. Mm. Mm. It's oh, got yeah, a good you see setup that, here. There with the, the the grass growing between the concrete. Yeah, that works. It's a very really impressive well. uh, layout. So a big big thank you for that. Uh, Jenny, can you put the layout link email address in the info? I can. So Zoe at. I already did that once, but uh, okay. It has been put. It's in probably a gone off uh, gone off the screen. <coughs> so I'm just checking now for all the chats. Uh, the chats should all be correct. I think it's one of the ones where it's camera only. I am looking at that, yeah. Yeah, in the train. Yeah, just we uh, found it. For a small layout, the American one works nice, very much. Uh, Fly my chairman one says it's a lot packed in there. Blackwood N gauge layout, nice layout. Fly my chairman one mile long plus freight trains are common in the USA. Um, Network Noob says loving the pathway, the background is amazing. Very much so. That photographic background works ever so well. It was actually really difficult to, to, to get a sense of um, how where actually, it started. How, yeah, it looked like there was so much more there than there actually was. And it's sometimes one of the things that you can find is that a photographic background or, or even a painted background if it's done to um to the correct standard yeah a bit like the one that les did up here it does add a lot of depth to a model railway yeah like that mm. we can kind of get an idea of where it is from the angle that we've got this camera at but when you're looking straight at it sometimes you don't ian hodgson asks where do you get the flowers that were on the hump I suspect some of them, it, it, probably a mix from different manufacturers, but certainly I spotted, I think there's some knock stuff in there. Um, hey, don't knock it. Yeah, Brian W says, beautiful scenery. Certainly was. Um, uh, Mark Holt says, late to the party, just finished work. My rocket finally arrived. Oh, excellent. Um, so was that the Tryang rocket, or was it the main range rocket? Because I'm still waiting on the main range rocket. Um, but I don't know whether they're starting to come through. Uh, Nathan Delay says, have you been to British Pendon? I haven't been to Pendon Museum, but I do understand that it is it's the pinnacle of, um, of modelling in the UK. It's sort of like um, our own version of Miniature Wunderland, only uh, obviously quite a lot smaller. Oh my goodness, talking of Miniature Wunderland, uh, <coughs> that people sent me the link to the airport on it. Oh my goodness. It is very impressive. Oh, it's just amazing. Mm. The way that they've managed to use different mobility techniques to to move uh, one uh, aircraft on, when it's taxiing to the runway and then to have it take off. And it's just amazing. Mm. But while it's moving and taxiing on the runway, it's not been pulled around by a wire because you can't see any uh, guidelines in the ground. So they've got mm. two different means of propulsion. Um, Ian the train says, hi Jen, any chance we could have the links to the layouts you're showing? Is that something that you could post into the comments as yeah. we put each one up? So um, I don't know whether you want to put in the... I will put in the ones that we've, that we've already seen, yes, so that's not a problem. So we've done three so far, the first three. Yes, we have. Uh, I'll just uh, quickly grab all of those for you, not a problem at all. Oh, we've had four so far. All right, Mark Wilson says, "Can you please speed the A4 up?" Um, well, then we can try it. Let's have a look. Where are you? Oh, it. Some of these noises it makes are weird. Um, Mini Wisconsin Junction, going for something to eat now. See you all soon. Okay, you take care and uh, um, hopefully see you again soon. Mark Holt, the Trying Rocket. It was in the postal system for about three weeks. Sadly, it's 130 miles away, but at least it appears intact. Oh, excellent. Um, 
Norman Rose says, Zoe, so accommodating. Aha, well, that's the cupboard monkey for you. I try to be nice to people. So what you're seeing is uh, the cupboard monkey is currently posting, actually on my account, it seems. Um, well, yeah, you're, it's on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, currently, the four videos that we've seen so far, the links have come up in the, uh, the uh, chat at the bottom. Somerset Andy says the best scenery you can see is out of a train window, but we can't do it now at the moment. Very much so, unless you're very, very lucky and have uh, an essential job um, that uh, allows you to travel. Um, there's not a lot really to see. And speaking as somebody who does actually have a job that allows me to travel up and down the country still, excuse me, um, there's not a lot to see. Um, I didn't realise that uh, transporting your stereo to Scotland was classed as an essential activity. Uh, no, it's the fact that I work in food logistics. Um, but no, there's not really any traffic on the road. One of the things that I think I probably ought to do, just as a record of this, is um, take the action cam with the stand and actually film what it's actually like to travel the length of the M1 um, from Daventry all the way up to Leeds mm. at rush hour at the current climate and you just see how amazingly empty the roads are even when we had the fuel crisis it, it was there was more people on the roads than this when we ha went through the last recession the big financial crash there was a lot more traffic than this it is just an unreal amount of traffic that is gone from the roads right are we ready to go for um, the next you want another choo choo mm. I know someone asked us not to call them the choo-choos, but I think it's funny. Okay, here we go. Where? Well, actually, no, we don't. Where is the... There it is. Okay, so we're coming up on the next one here. We are... This is a Rufford running session from February 2020. So not long ago. Mark Wilson says, I work as a locksmith, so I'm a key worker. That is uh, <laughs> terrible fun and also very important. Oh, this is nice. So, right, who, who have Again, we got? great look of uh, vaccine there. This is Rufford. Yeah, and, and this is something as well. A big, uh, something I'm a big advocate of is what I call like these, um, these like, very low relief, almost flat relief buildings in front of a vaccine. So you get a much better sense of depth because you've got the, the sense of a building in the foreground that you're doing as a three dimensional thing. But then you've got the, the photographic back scene behind as well, which works really well. Mm. Uh, again, really great ballasting too. Ballasting is an area that uh, I think you know, a lot of people feel almost frightened of. And I do like those signals too. Um, um, but who, who did you say this one was from? I can't remember. Uh, this one, is, it's called Rufford. Right. Um, I'm just wondering what make the signals are, because I do like those signals. So we're just seeing a little bit of shunt in there with the Class 37 in the Rail Freight Red Stripe livery. Uh, and the Hornby OTA wagons. Um, I did have an OTA wagon, but I was persuaded to sell it as being outside of my era. This is Liam Butler. Liam Butler. So um, this is it's a great model. There's a lot going on. It, um, it looks like Kyle of Lacalche. Um, I could be wrong, but um, it does. The, the actual station and yard area does remind me a little bit of Kyle of Lacalche. Um, but doing some shunting uh, with the OTA wagons and the VGA. Uh, the VGA, I believe, is Batman. Uh, plus, we've got the OCAs in the foreground. And I like the clutter as well you've got in there. Really does bring um, a. Uh, a, a a scene to life, just the, the cluster. Anthony, 1956, wouldn't it be nice if we could stay off the road and mostly use trains? Can't do that in my rural part of the USA, unfortunately. Um, it's one of the things, you can't really do it very well in the UK either. Um, a lot of stations have been closed. Flymo Chen one says, I like the old TK Bedford box van. Yeah, actually, I saw a TK Bedford yesterday on the back of a low loader being transported. Um, and it was the first time I'd actually seen one in the flesh for a long, long time. Um, David Watts says, funny thing is fuel is getting cheaper by the day now that no one can go anywhere. 
Yeah, it was at 102.7 per litre. Supply and demand. Yeah, supply and demand. Um, (coughs) Don't worry, it'll go back up just as soon as everybody's ready to buy some more. Um, Ian, the train says, could be CR signals, Jens. Yeah, it could be. Or um, um, Burko. Could be Burko. I'm not sure. But there's some really nice scenery going on as well. The attention to detail, um, the horses in the field. Um, it really does work quite nicely, this layout. Oh, I see it's an island platform. And that'll be a Backman 158. <laughs> Somerset Andy says, great stuff. Everyone loves a Class 37. Um, some more than others, it has to be said. Um, it depends on the livery. Uh, although, actually, uh, it, they are a, pr- a pretty beefy workhorse. Yeah, Ian the Train. The Blue Timber Wagons are formed the OT Timber! Mm. I think uh, Backman did the ones that were VDA conversions. Or at least they certainly announced them. I don't know whether they ever released them. Um, I think they did, thinking about it. It's to do with the top of the ends. Those have got the kind of um, threepenny bit style ends, so I think that makes them the new build old OTAs. But then there's also ones that were repurposed from VDAs, which have a, a rounded at top to end, I believe. J. Paul Anderson says, artistically speaking, Pendant is much better, of course, built by superb craftsmen whose passion was to re- 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 relieve, no, I think relive in model form, rural 20s Britain. Miniature Wunderland is built for commercial purposes. Um, yeah, there's an element of that, but certainly Miniature Wunderland is amazing. Um, it's a place I do really want to go. It might visit. be for commercial purposes, but that doesn't stop it being interesting and fun. Mm. I think as well, Miniature Wunderland uses a lot more commercially available items from people like Noch and Prizer, mm. uh, whereas Pendant, it's pretty much all built from scratch, including locomotives and rolling stock, I believe. But we've got some great shunting going on here, and uh, it's nice to actually add in to the, the shunting mix the Class 158 arriving, which just adds that extra operational interest. Looking at the track plan, um, it's a good interesting track plan that it allows the freight shunting to operate semi-independently from the main line so you can actually have passenger trains running whilst you've got freight trains going at the same time and there's also some really interesting use of uh, items uh, up against the back seat to disguise the transition to the back seat so i think we've got is that a ford cargo um seven and a half tonner there the, the white lorry mm. but certainly the positioning of that does actually work really really well ian ryan says good evening to all from peter lee i hope everyone is safe and well um very much so we've got to keep safe and well and um doing these live streams as well is a great antidote to cabin fever caused by uh, self-isolation which so, i think we were getting into earlier on talking about staying safe and uh, staying well if uh, this uh, live stream hadn't gone together, I think Jenny and I would have gone to blows. Oh, I think you're right. Um, and it's it, it just shows the tensions can get quite frayed. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, tempers get very short. It, when um, It's unfortunate. It's, uh, remember that episode of Red Dwarf with quarantine? Yes. They're in there for like three or four days and they've, they've already come to blows. Yes. And as per regulations, you will find a chess set with 31 missing pieces. So. I don't need your help, Mr. Lister. I can extract my own head from the waste disposal unit. <laughs> but yeah, um... Oh, shall we move on? Because this is a wonderful uh, layout. You've got another one of those surveyors. Um, actually, actually, he's got yeah, several of them. Yeah, yeah. well, I think You'll it's... We'll have a look at that tree like that's working. fallen over. Mm. Right. Oh, Harvest that's nice, going to that's uh, gonna cost you. <laughs> You know, the, the mm. sucking through teeth, which immediately oh. increases the price. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's costly, uh, that, you know. Yeah. So, move on a little bit to have a li- different angle. I think we've seen it from the other side when this uh, eventually Oh, what's up. happened? What, uh, why have we got the spinning beach ball of death? Because it had to... Ba- there it is. We've got it from a different angle now, seeing what that guy's doing. He's putting a sign yeah. in or something, isn't he? Um. Or a signal. 
No, is it? It's on the um, the ground frame controlling the points, I think. Oh, so it's just mm. playing Tetris with the signals. Do, 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 yeah, do. but um, in the train, yeah, a small but interesting layout, very much so. And they've got mm. a lot of operational interest. It's these got a lot of shunting, of, hasn't it? Yeah, these are the sort of layouts. So if you're starved for space, are really great ways of. Uh, this one's uh, stopped. Mm, I'll give it a prod. Enough, so is the 47. Oh, we're having trouble today. Yeah. I didn't do. When I updated your computer, this this wasn't my fault. I'm going to nick your chair. You can sit on the floor for a bit. <sighs> so. No, you're going to have to move. I need to stand. Oh. Oh. I can't have a bit of comfort. It's terrible. It's You know what, guys? It's terrible. She's She's terrible at me. I believe that your uh, buttocks are currently uh, displayed to the world, by the way, if that uh, live stream is showing uh, anything. So, we've, we've got a very nice layout here. I think it's a really good use of uh, shunting space. Mm -hmm. Yep, showing your bum to the world, baby. So, we're going to move back to, uh, back to the weary yardy. Oh, and uh, just the upper yard, yeah. Let's see if we can see what Jenny is working on. Yes, we can. See, this is a bit of a troublesome loco you've got there, isn't it? It doesn't and want to go it's around. Not the loco. The loco derailed, and then all of the coaches decided to uh, to join it. Their, yeah, basically do their annoyance, yeah. and they went, "Oh, I see you're dealing with something on the other side of the layout." But yeah, that was a great little layout. I, really... I, I thought it was great. Yes. Hmm. So. Uh, Oh, I'll just move back over to uh, yeah, so well done Liam Butler but we have another one and he uh, operates an exhibition layout with one of his relatives I can't remember whether he said it was his father or his uncle or his brother mm. but uh, Paul Butler has an exhibition layout that uh, Liam also mm. helps with so in a minute we'll have a look at that shall we mm. who's Lee Enfield oh, it says David Watt says hide the Lee Enfield did you show one of my videos or something because we've got a Lee Enfield here no she, he's talking about us uh, coming to blows if, uh, uh, oh, if the layout hasn't worked oh, oh, with you now, that's the roughed uh, link that we've just been looking at <laughs> and, oh I say this uh, yes ne the next one the uh, next one I'm gonna grab the URL <coughs> and put that into the link in a moment <coughs> so, I'm definitely coming down with a cough I think we, I think Houston we have a problem you've got allergies to what's going on in the air that's what it is mm. Mm. come here come here ah <laughs> no you're not warm mm. and you haven't got the other uh, symptoms so i'm going to quickly jump to the webcam browser because we're going to go straight to this exhibition layout <laughs> so liam and paul oh my goodness this looks real oh my word this is uh let's have a look if, it, if i couldn't see the top of the uh, layout uh in the corner and then upper right that i would have thought that was real that is brilliant. Um, that is really nice. With it, is that um, Newcastle T um, Newcastle Public Transport Executive livery? I like the different levels with the um, the retaining walls. Mm -hmm. it, it's reminding me of around places like Newcastle, where you have the um, the, the, the very steep topography. Yeah, and, and the a, metro I system think, that's I basically. Think in a valley in the yeah. cut into the ground. I, th I think topography is my word of the day. Oh, but look at that. There's a lot going on. We've got the passenger stuff on the top layer, shuttling backwards and forwards, I guess. Um, but on the bottom, you've got all the freight going on. And that gives a really good um, cross-section of operational interest. I Not really just that, but do the like text, it. The different uh, colours of the ballast, the different colours of the... Mm. Uh, stuff on the sides that's really well done that is a that is very impressive Anthony 1956 asks does Britain have T-Track I have no layout room in my current living situation but T-Track members always have a great time when we bring our modules together um yeah I don't think it gets called that but um there are definitely clubs that do a module based thing where everybody builds a a standalone module that can then be brought together and made into a much longer, bigger layout. That sounds really fun. 
Norman Rowe says you haven't coughed in a while. Drink some more, Jenny. Oh, don't mind if I do. I uh, do. Deltic Junction James says, I remember the days when you coughed to hide passing wind. Now it's the other way around. <laughs> yeah. That was a really, really good I did layout. enjoy... That was a really Oh my good... goodness, you can't even see me because of, the... of the thing. That's an improvement. Yeah. <laughs> I get to hide in plain sight. You still can't... No, no, leave it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody's going, ah, the noise, the noise. Um, but that was really good. I really enjoyed those two layouts. So don't forget that you can send for next week now uh, videos of your layouts if you want to feature them in the virtual Model Railway exhibition. Send them to zoe at zoerobinson.com. And that's Zoe spelt Z O E. So if you uh, drop a, an email with a link to uh, your video of your model railway, and then we'd love to see that, and uh, it may well end up in next week's virtual model railway exhibition. Um, but uh, we do have one more, and then it'll be down to you to chat. Yeah, and then what we will do is, um, you haven't shown, did you show the Grove Street Yard shunting video last time? No. So I think actually um, we should show um, the Grove Street Yard video as well. Yeah, we'll show Groovy Street. Yeah, it's decided to derail again. Mm, it's derailing repeatedly from that point. You're gonna have to sort that out, baby. Yeah, doing that now. So in a moment we'll get to see the naughty train again. Oh, for goodness sake. What's wrong now? In a demonstration of cultural stereotypes, the president of Belarus refuses to cancel any engagements and says that Volker and Saunas will beat the coronavirus. Ah, uh, he's going to be very disappointed, isn't he? He probably won't remember saying that if he's doing Volker and Saunas. Yeah. Right. So, while you're de editing, uh, not editing, uh, modifying and uh, repairing, not I'm thinking then. we will jump to the webcam and browser again and... Uh, go straight into Melchester with his uh, photographic slideshow. I think we may have seen this before. In fact, we have, and it's uh, one I really quite like the look of. I do like this with the towns, the um, the whole depth with the... Uh, it's so the well done. walls, bridges. I do like stuff on... I like that little walls. clock that's just uh, like the remnant of something else just stood mm. in the middle of the village square. It's so well presented. It's got a lot going on, and think. It's the impression of movement and life. Mm. I really like it. 50, and the colours that he's got in the middle of the ballast as well. The leaves, is it uh, dead leaves from autumn or something like that falling down? And it looks really impressive either way. And the old adverts. People complain these days that we have adverts everywhere. But <laughs> you go down at the the old uh, <clears throat> railway lines and say like, everything's covered in adverts. Yeah, there used to be a lot of these sort of like uh, enamel signs. Yeah, buy Jaws uh, oh, washing it, powder. No, it was like things like smoke capstan cigarettes because your doctor recommends it. Sort of <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, all the ladies like a guy who's drinking bitter, that kind of thing. Uh, what the, uh, I thought it was <laughs> yeah or uh, yeah uh, like. Uh, Navy shag for that cool, um, for that cool sensation. Yeah. Or uh, going on holiday, visit Upper Downington. <laughs> Viral <laughs> lion's tea, <laughs> guaranteed a lion in every packet. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I do like that. With the little cameos with the lights. Yeah, the lights really are doing so does well. Work so well. I do like that. Really, really nice. Where's my phone gone? It is immensely impressive. So I'm slightly drunk. It has to say slightly? Yeah. Um, yeah, we definitely watched this video before because there's the guy that I kept mm. saying looked like he was urinating against the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but no, it's a lovely station building with an amazing attention to detail. We've got all these adverts. Um, there's the new stand that I want to put in, the underground layout. Yeah, yeah. When are you going to make that? You've got plenty of... The first week of whenever. Yeah. I do like things like the lamps. There's a lot of lamps in there, and oh yeah, because I commented, I've got that guy. He's over there. Yeah, he's uh, mm. moving stuff around here as well. Yeah, it's very, about. very well done. The textures, the colours, 
the angles Ooh, he's got some of these I photos like that at. Angle. That is so good. Mm. And you like your little clocks and stuff. I do. I like a little mm. bit of life to things, especially when... Ah, oh, ja Javelin. Oh, what? oh, no, is it a Vanguard? I've got one. There you are. Oh, very nice. A Beetleback Vanguard. What keeps going flip? Oh, it's just a momentary short that's not enough to trip out the system. Fair enough. Mmm. Oh. Mmm, looking nice. Bex Hill on Sea. Look, looking for a new life? Come to Buxom Rack. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I do like all the little signs and stuff. It really does bring a layout to life. Yeah. Uh, along with the people as well, and the little poses and cameos. It's done very, very well. So if so. you want to... Um, no, I want to bring up uh, some uh, various views. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Everything should be working now. Yes. Everything does what it's here. There's, there's ways and means. Um, oh my word. Come over very tired, it has to be said. But don't forget to hit the like button if you've not already hit the like button. You have button. forgotten to hit the like mm. button. Remember to click it. Yeah. Um, Mark Rice says, ooh, it's Trumpton. It does have that kind of... Um, yes. like that, that kind of feel. I do like it. Time for Trumpton. A big hello do, 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 do. to... A big hello to Bartsville. Barry watching from quarantine in Argentina. Great stuff, Jenny. Keep it coming. Thank you very much. Um, Gordon McIlroy says... How are they handling consular. quarantine over in Argentina? That's a... Probably similar to what we've got over here. Yeah. But Gordon McIlroy says consulate. Smooth as a mountain stream. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Ian Ryan. Oh, smoke tabs, drink beer, eat food. And the thing was, it'd be like, um, you know, like, poor... Pour saturated fat into your veins along with cholesterol because it's good for you and stuff like that. They really didn't have much of a clue. Nine out of ten doctors suggest you smoke Lucky Strikes. The tenth doctor couldn't be reached for comment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the tenth doctor had already died from smoking Lucky Strikes. So, uh, do you want to go through some uh, comments before we move yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. Mark Wilson, Trumpton. Haha, <laughs> is that where Windy Miller was always drunk on cider? Um, How did he not get smacked in the head no, by that, that windmill? No. Was, it not, was that not Camberwick Green? Might have been. So there was, there was um, Trumpton, Camberwick Green, and was there a third one as There well? was. Charlton? No. Um, oh, it's going to bug me now. Ian Hodgson says, "Could you run a packet W four? Um, yeah, we'll 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 sort something out in a bit. We'll have to. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll take the J fifteen off and uh, spunk a, a, a W four packet round. And do a what? Yeah, spunk it around. Spank it around. Spank. That's probably a better term. Mm. Right. So, J Paul Anderson, Jenny, would you agree with me that the LNER's engines are the most graceful, but the Southerns are the most quirky? Yeah, actually, I think um, the Southern had a lot of quite quirky locomotives. They weren't afraid to experiment. That said, the um, W1 from the LNER was quite a quirky little um, piece of kit. And, you know, if you go back to some of the pre-grouping railway companies, there were some really intriguing things going on there. I mean, um, the Decapod, I do keep bringing this up, and it's the Great Eastern Railway Decapod 0 tank locomotive. Um, and to be honest, I think, I think it got rebuilt as an 080 tender freight locomotive, also equally as, uh, well, it, you know, it wasn't particularly successful in that form. Um, but, you know, there were things as well, like uh, the Midland Railway had had Big Bertha, the Licky Banker. Now, that was a, quite a quirky piece of kit as well. Um, Chigley. Tony Britton says Chigley, as does Andrew Brunton. That Absolutely it. right. Cholton was the one with the wheelies. Mm. Flymo Chairman <laughs> says, I heard the Marlborough man got a lorry load of them a year as part of his deal. Yeah, they um, didn't... Um, oh, who was the lead singer in Guns N' Roses? Axel Rose. Yeah, he got as many. He got Marlboros just given to him as part of a, a medical study into the effect of uh, smoking. Yeah, that's how they paid to keep the band going before they got big. It was him and Slash used to uh, volunteer for experiments. Yeah, J. Paul Anderson, Furnace Railway 464 Baltic Tank, cool engine. 
And I must admit, there's a lot of these uh, quirky pre-grouping things. I would love to see turn up ready to run. Um, I think it's only a matter of time for some of them. Certainly, um, I can see Big Birth of the Licky Banker. That is a given. It's going to turn up. Um, possibly a Helgen locomotive. Um, but by the same token, I could see um, as an outside shop, um, one of the retailers taking it on as a special commission, either Rails or Hattons, uh, possibly even Kerno Model Centre, although they tend to major on locomotives that uh, were more akin to um, you know, the Cornwall area, so majority Great West and a little bit of the Southern Railway's withered arm. Right, so do you want to uh, show Grove Street Yard? Yeah, um, we're going to show another one of my model railways. Um, this one still exists. It's the one that I take to exhibitions. Um, so we're getting a little blast here of Grove Street Yard. And this is... Um, one of your videos, which is why it's just jumped to something else. Yeah, so that's basically the intro. So this is Grove Street Yard being operated at an exhibition. I think this was the Lee Model Railway exhibition. And there you do get your wish for seeing the Peckett W4 at work doing what it was designed and to make. And you've got lots of texturing on your layout as well. Because uh, I can see grass growing where the uh, thing doesn't move a lot. Yeah, well, um, it's meant to be a little bit of a down at heel industrial layout. So yeah. there's a lot more vegetation, grime, that kind of thing. So um, th there is actually a few other videos of it running, I'm sure. Actually, yeah, there's at least one other. But certainly, um, I'm trying to get some really into the model um, shots here. Yeah. The lighting isn't actually doing it any favours, it has no. to be said. I'm looking at this and I feel embarrassed compared to the standard of just how good some of your model railways were uh, as we were watching some of the other videos. But certainly, you know, it, it, it scratched an itch for me. Isn't that always the case though? You look at uh, what you've built and you're really proud of it mm. because you've just built this and it's, and it's uh, the best you could do. And then you build something else and you come back to the old one and think, Oh, well, I could have done this different. I could have done that different. Mm. You'd have had a textured uh, background on it by these, uh, by your current standards, wouldn't you? Mm. Uh, J. Paul Anderson asks, Jenny, could you please, please do a video of your railway books, what you use as reference? Um, I'll be honest. You don't, do you? I don't. Um, a lot of it is just from memory of having seen things. So... A lot of what you see up here is my memories of going past um, uh, Tyne Yard by train. Mm. Um, what else? Um, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not meant to be a completely accurate representation because it's a different place. Yeah, it just gives a vibe. So Grove Street Yard was inspired by what I saw actually in person in Trafford Park in the sort of late 90s into the 2000s. Um, and it, I've never seen a train move under its own power in Trafford Park, never. Um, I did see the final Trafford Park Estates locomotive um, sat derelict up by the Serastar plant, uh, probably about two years before it was scrapped in situ. Um, but yeah, um, Brian W, is it possible to share photographs in this venue? I think it is. Um, I would say try it. Let us know what happens. I know that um, URLs you have to. Um, Pretty sure you can't share photographs in oh, the chat. That would make sense. It must. But admit. if you email photos to me, we could include photos next time as well. That's not an issue. Yeah, yeah. So you could always send it to the Zoe at Zoe Robinson dot com address. Um, We're seeing an awful lot of this side of Grove Street Yard. There is another little bit though, isn't it? Yeah, I really like that. Uh, well, see, the, the the boobs you'll see in the background there hanging on the top as I lean over. That's me, so I'm not filming this. So I blame the camera woman, who was actually Melanie Lewis, uh, who you saw on GMRC as part of the team, who made the tripods. Um, she's actually filming this. But... Um, if anybody's actually seen um, 
the layout in the flesh uh, <laughs> struggling to couple up there in the scrapyard. So sometimes it just needs a little bit of positioning with the, uh, the hand of God with the stick of ultimate power. Um, but the W4 packet does run really, really well, it has to say. It does seem to, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we can just see in the background there, you can see the other part of uh, Grove Street Yard, which is uh, very much just a, a front, isn't it? It's just one little piece of track to hide your fiddle yard. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Mark Wilson asks, Jenny, with Exhibition Layout, did you have a set timetable of movement? No, it was very much ad hoc, it has to be said. Jenny doesn't do timetables. Mm. Mark Wilson, do you find exhibitions tiring? I do, because I don't like shunting. Um, I'd love to just leave something running, just leave it to run and run and run. Which is why you like the, uh, mm. the the underground build when we yeah, do that. Yeah, kind of, yeah. And it's why uh, it has to be said that Weir Yard is a lot more fun to operate because I just set trains going and sit in the middle and read a book. Uh, big hello to Dragon Junction. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, A.D. Pullen says, I did send some pictures. Did, did you send that to the email account? Did you get any pictures through? I got some to Facebook on your Facebook page, oh, but I didn't pull yeah. them in because I didn't have time. There, there are some messages, it has to be said, that were sent to Facebook um, and we haven't had time to process them, so they will... Oh my word, Gareth Wade. Hey Jenny and Zoe, how are you keeping busy, I hope? I've been kit bashing my Metcalf stash this weekend. Three kits nearly done so far, thanks for the guide. Gareth Wade has donated £5. Oh, thank, thank you, you so very, much. very much. That is oh, incredibly that is generous. Really generous. Thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, the Metcalf buildings, I have to say, I have really come to like a lot of the Metcalf range. Um, I I have used them in the dim and distant past. What's, what's the matter, Cupboard Monkey? Oh, right. There's a, there's a shine on the top of this uh, tree, and it caught my eye, and I couldn't work oh. out what it was. It's where Les has made the tree out of metal, and oh. a little bit of the paint's come off. Right. But yeah, thank you ever so much for that. Donated through the Super Chat. It's incredibly generous of you. Um, and um, we basically did the um, the live stream guide simply because we thought it was important that people had access to um, knowing when these things were on. I think it's most important now mm. than ever because it's something that will keep uh, updated uh, even after the lockdown. But while we're all locked down and uh, trying to beat this virus by essentially starving it out, mm. we've we've all got to keep ourselves active and keep ourselves social, and that's what this is about. Definitely, Manthony 1956 says switching using an 050, which in American parlance literally means using your hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Dampo, hi to you. Uh, James Petz, I empathise with operating being tiring. That's the one reason my layout will be computer controlled. Um, I must admit, uh, have you posted a link as well to the comments for this video as well so people know where to find this? This particular one? No. Yeah, we should. Not yet. I always post them after the video. You're quite. Oh. Let's see if we can move on a little bit and see if we've got any angles from the other side. Um. Not Fly my chairman uh, one, absolutely right. Um, that's, that's the, the correct uh, email address. Gareth Waite says, you're welcome. Done the school, the bank and the shop and the Tudor building. Love them. Yeah, th they are a great range of um, of, of uh, kit. I've come to really like them. I, I also like Super Quick, it has to be said. I think the, the ranges complement each other and they can both be used to great effect. But the, the Metcalf range certainly has a lot more going on. Um, and the retaining walls are some of my favourites. Um, but also um, the signal box. They do a really great signal box kit, which I've used. Um, pump house, uh, warehousing. There's, there's a lot of great kits and you can actually get some great effects by kit bashing with them. Deltic Junction Jane says, remember to hit that like button. That's absolutely right. Hit the like button. Don't forget to share this video too. And let other people know that we're up and running and doing these every single uh, Sunday now through the shutdown. Um, also, don't forget that we've got the regular Monday Club is still happening tomorrow from 7 
p.m. UK time. Now the UK has gone to GMT plus one, which we we refer to as uh, rather rather uh, I suppose hopefully as British summer time. It doesn't always work out uh, that way, but that's what they call it. It's like sympathetic magic. If you call it summertime, perhaps summer will come this time. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, so the link has just gone up to the Grove Street Yard video that we've just shown you. Uh, oh, excuse, excuse, I've got hiccups here. Um, I'm actually quite drunk. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. Jenny is drunk on camera. Mm. Yeah. Droid Lloyd says new angles. Yes, um, definitely. And actually, we've got a new camera. We haven't, and um, because of all the franticness of getting um, getting everything working again. Revan just stuck it in. No, it's over there. Yeah. I know. I just don't want to. But um, let's have a look. Um, yeah, James Hall says we have a whole village of Metcalf kits on our club layout. Um, it's. They are really good, and I can well recommend the Facebook page for the Metcalf models, which is also a great place to go to um, be able to actually um, um, you know, share your experiences of um, building the kit, share pictures of your layouts with Metcalf kits, either built as, um, as per the instructions or kit bash. Um, so certainly it's one to add to your bookmarks. Um, Brockwell, Brockwell Lane says, I saw Grove Street Yard at Ruddington a few years ago before I knew who you were. Yes, we did um, Ruddington a couple of times, uh, but uh, the Cupboard Monkey is now showing another layout. And this is the action shots. It's a shame really we're not playing the music, but these are some of the action shots of uh, the War of the Worlds layout. This would have been at Alexandra Palace, um, but unfortunately, as we all know, things got cancelled. Um, here it is. It's actually running at Hatton, so Hatton's ran some of their stock on it as well. But we've also got footage from the actual filming. Um, some of these flick through a little bit too fast to really appreciate. Do you, do you want to see why? Why? <clears throat> Because it's got the music and it's timed. To <laughs> headphones on and so I just miss out on that brilliant music that was written specifically for us well, perhaps we'll by Bruno Greif. Uh, Bruno Greif incidentally um, do go and check him out he's on um, YouTube uh, and he's also got his website uh, I think it's like brunogreif.com um, is his name Greif? I thought it was Grief. Could be Grief um, he's from Israel he's actually quite a successful music producer that I happen to know um, not name dropping or anything, but quite simply, it's a case of um, uh, don't ask me how I know the great Bruno Greif. Uh, I'm not entirely sure myself. It, it's a bit of a weird situation. You kind of just fell into it, didn't you? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the um, group that he's uh, the pop group that he started out in. So um, we got to know each other through a collaborative. Uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, we got to know each other through a collaborative uh, project where I wrote, uh, initially I wrote um, short stories to go with all the promotional material for the band's second album. And then we've since collaborated on other projects. But um, his brief was effectively, 
to write a piece of music that um, made you think of War of the Worlds, but wasn't actually the Jeff Wayne War of the Worlds. Um, so that's where that piece of music came from. Uh, Flymo Chairman One says, I've got this coming through my sound system. Yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> David Watts says, if you replay it, turn the volume down, please. You just upset my neighbours. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I blame the cupboard monkey for that. Um, absolutely. Uh, oh, so let's just uh, plug that in. Unfortunately, the cupboard monkey set the volumes, not me. But yeah, these, you may remember these um, kitty ears from, let me just see, come on, fire up, and no, it really doesn't want to uh, put me back in. For some reason, it's uh, not doing its thing. Let me just, there we are. Uh, let's try again. Will it fire up now unfortunately it seems determined to not actually show you me anymore but yeah the kitty is <coughs> these um, Zoe bought them for me because she saw them on um, I think it was Amazon and decided that I absolutely must have them so I had to do the whole virtual expo wearing silly kitty ears um, as headphones because what I said to her was um, I need a new set of headphones can you get me a set of headphones and she picked the cutesiest most saccharine headphones you could imagine so um, right um, where are we uh, network noob says really good music though yeah um, Bruno Greif um or grief grief i'm i keep forgetting how to pronounce his name um i've never actually met him in person um i tend to skype a lot with him um but um i was supposed to be going over to israel um to Haifa, um which a uh, little pop pack uh, pop fact for you uh, the manchester ship canal railway company had a locomotive called Haifa. Uh, was it Haifa? No, Jaffa, which is near Haifa. They might have had Haifa. Did they have Haifa? They certainly had Jaffa. Anyway, no, I'm going off on a tangent. Um, but unfortunately, coronavirus has put paid to that, so I was supposed to be going out to Israel. Um, first time I'd have been outside of the country since 1995. Was it? No, 1996. Um, and it was, it was to, to go to the studios where our collaborative project is being recorded but of course that's all um being put to a stop now um but it'll be something that you know i'm probably not supposed to talk too much about it um it's one of the super secret projects doesn't involve les whittling jab light in the modeling dungeon um but certainly there's a, a record a concept album um that's being put together uh with with principal um, creative input from myself and Bruno Greif. Grief, 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 grief. Um, I'm, I'm actually really drunk. That stuff's gone right to my head. Mark Wilson, can we see a P2? You could if I had one, but I don't have a P2. Um, yeah, fly my chairman one. Don't worry, just a little warning next time. Don't worry. Combat Bunny says my dog's still on the ceiling. <laughs> Canadian rail fan Jenny, do you know of naphtha engines? Is that where you basically cook wood and run the engine on the fumes that come off the wood? Philip Page, good evening to you. Great to have you aboard. Mark Wilson, why does the steam train on coal wagons not have a brake van? Grrr. It did actually. Um, it did have a brake van, and I took it off because it was struggling on the gradient. So. Let's see. Oh, it will just about manage it. So just for you, uh, when it comes back round, you'll see it has a brake van on the on the end. So let's see. Can we get. Oh, there it is. You're just seeing the brake van. Wrong one. Is it five? Oh, that's the wrong one. Ah, come on! 
show me the one I want. I'm gonna miss the train. There we are. There's the brake fan. Oh my word. Can't get the stuff, can you? Right, here it comes. Oh my word, I think I need something to eat to soak up the boot. Ian Ryan says, mmm, just fancy a Jaffa cake now for some reason. <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, Jaffa oranges are, are kind of just named after the port through which they passed, I guess. Um, Brockwell Lane, she's a little short of brake fans. Yes, I put them all together in one long train. I'm a little bit disappointed that nobody sent me links or videos of them trying to break the, I think it was 54 that I'd done. So, um, yay, I claim the record. I got um, uh, 54 break vans. Um, but certainly, if you can beat that, then do please have a go. Film a video and let us know uh, the URL for that. I'd love to see your brake van trains, even if they're not quite 54. Uh, it doesn't have to be that long. But maybe we'll to make that a theme. Film a video of your train, of all your brake vans running on your layout and uh, send that URL to uh, zoe at zoerobinson.com and uh, let's have a bit of fun in the Virtual Model Railway Exhibition next Sunday, shall we? Uh, we'll have a bit of a theme, Can, how, you know, uh, your brake van trains. Maybe let's have a Gronk Fest as well next week. Um, also send videos of your Class 8 shunters. Also accepted will be Class 9s, Class 10s, Class 11s, Class 12s if you've got one. Uh, class 13s will also be accepted. Um, heck, what about any shunters? Um, you know, let, Let's have a, a shunter fest next week. And maybe what I will do is I will queue up um, many, many shunters here on Weir Yard as well. But certainly I'd love to see your break band videos too. Yep, Flymo Chairman 1, you the man, that's great. Um, is that I like transport in the chat room tonight. I haven't seen him for a while. I do hope he's all right. 57305 Northern Princess, Jaffa Cake Pineapple is the future. Oh my word. That sounds lush. Uh, Canadian Rail fans says they have oil which is called naphtha and it's very explosive which they burn as fuel and the naphtha for lubricating oil and, and instead of water they use naphtha for making steam. Very explosive. Hmm. I'm not familiar with them I have to say. Um, See, um, big thanks to Norman Rowe for dropping in. Um, it, it says, thanks Jenny and Zoe. Good night, take care. Goodbye all, be safe. You too. Mark Wilson says, from the Brake Van Society of Great Britain, we dock our hats to you. <laughs> um, Richard Swiderski says, Jenny, have you tried fitting a TTS decoder in a Hornby Ringfield Motor Loco? Um, I haven't, no, I've never tried that. Um, I don't see a huge problem with doing it, except that the current draw on the motor, be careful, it doesn't draw too much. Flymo Chairman 1, Canadian Rail fan, I've seen that chicken compost cars in wartime France and a bus in Norway. Yes, I, I've seen that running on chicken manure. Um, please tell me that you've brought food. I need food. I've got two things. They could have Friday, and all. fried egg sandwiches. <laughs> I, I, I'm afraid the booze has gone straight to my head. I can't. Uh, Flyman Chairman I can't even pop out for biscuits. I know. Flyman Chairman One isn't naphthalene the active ingredient in mothballs? I believe it is. Matt Mouse Two, hi to you. Uh, great to have you aboard. Flyman Chairman One says all oh, that A4. Does look nice in front of that blood and custard set, right enough. Thank you very much. Ian Ryan says, I love shunters. Yeah, shunters are great. Um, so I think maybe next Sunday's uh, virtual exhibition, um, here on Weir Yard, we'll make it a shunter fest. But I'd also like to see uh, any of your brake van videos. Um, if you can beat the 54 brake vans, then certainly we will dock our hats to you. 
Um, but certainly, um, even if you've only got, even if you've only got one, um, send us your videos up and running, and it'd be great to see. Uh, what are you looking for? Ooh. Let's have a look. Um, whilst the covered monkey queues up the next layout, it's only right. I cannot beat your break van record, although now. Somehow I've collected 25 cabooses in various liveries. I'd love to see it, actually. Jen loves to see a caboose. Yeah, yeah. Mark Wilson says, that's a long tanker train. That's not all my tankers, it has to be said. It's about, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Every 12, time 15, I see a train go across that, that little bit of uh, wall, I think, do, 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 do. Almost the tank engine, eh? Yeah. Um, I know what you mean, actually. There's a bit in the opening credits to the uh, original Thomas the Tank Engine series. Fly my chairman one. Gronks and toads next time. <laughs> and Leslie Gilpin says 17 cabis here. Is that the official, um, is that the official um, uh, plural of caboose? I couldn't tell you. Manson in 1956 says, What is your spirit of the day? A bit of the bubbly? Yes, it is. And uh, my bubbly choice of the day, I am currently supporting Spain because uh, obviously they've had coronavirus really bad. So um, that's the beverage of choice at the moment. So, well, I'm of a railway, I can stick a big bottle of booze on it. Oh, no, booze sweat. It's um it's got uh, condensation on the outside, so maybe I shouldn't just put that on the glass. But um that's the tipple of choice. It's Vuestro by Lutz and Bonito from España, and it's uh, a gen a, a delicate, refreshing flavour of gentle citrus notes. This elegant sparkler is crafted with Spanish grapes, Aaron, Vera, and Vidillo. Exhilarating, easy drinking wine, best served chilled, and enjoyed with friends. And that is exactly what we're doing here. We're enjoying this with you guys. You are our online friends, and it's great to have you here through this virtual model railway exhibition. Mark Wilson says, I'd love an old brake van or caboose at the bottom of my garden as a summer house. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I've seen it done. Uh, you have to have quite a big garden, it must be said. Um, I'll Jane, play a small caboose. Well, no, they are quite. I'm joking. Big. They're bigger than you. I'm might joking. Think. I'm playing mm. on the the, the wordplay on the fact mm. that caboose is used to uh, ref as a reference to someone's uh, derriere. Uh, J94. I only have one Gronk class 08 at the minute. Oh, you could, but you you'll get more. You know you will. Gronks, just you have to have more. They are great. It's a requirement. Definitely. James R. Thika says, Hi there from Canada. Watched Monday's video last night with my wife over a Ricard's red beer. Made me laugh. Excellent. P.S. That Chinese beer is good. Je that's from Jim. Thank you very much. It's great to hear from you and glad you enjoyed the video. Next one. Shall we? Uh, yeah, we can do. Uh, one last comment. A.D. Pullen says, Our full break, welcome with goods fans. Yeah, um, you can also do your full breaks as well. So um, if you've got a train of full breaks, um, we'll accept that as well. So you know the address to send it to. Okay, this one uh, should have some volume and it shouldn't be too bad for Yeah, anyone. don't do it too We can uh, so do it and have some oh, fun. The fact that I haven't got much footage from yesterday at all is probably testament to how hard we were working. So you'll have to make do with the footage that I shot during the heat. So this is this is this is actual uh, you uh, commenting but, from the yeah, time, isn't back it? Back here, yes. and it's just an honour to be back in such a wonderful place. And yes, the, only uh, the one fact that, you've that we got, got a lot through, of footage for as well. I think works. that was um, 
it, it paid off all the hard work that we did. We just got to repeat that. So we're just hanging around. We've arrived there. a bit early, of not. and we're just hanging around, waiting before we can go How in and back? start construction on day two in the model railway house. I can't do a Geordie accent. It's very annoying. I either end up sounding like Apu from The Simpsons, or I go very Welsh. But uh, I do love this place. There we are. Let's see if we can get a picture. Oh, I remember what this one is now. It doesn't have a huge amount of footage. You instead have a cab ride on that uh, local. Yeah. So, do you want to jump back to the comments? Oh, let's watch the cab ride. All right. Have you got one of them as a trip, as a as a loco? Um, no, I don't. Oh. Ah, it's the fastest bus in the West. I think. Oh no, it's planet. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Jen, but wasn't the Planet one of the first commercial local steam locomotives? Yeah. It was an interesting locomotive to um, get a ride in, um, and this is shunting at, um, at Concrete Bob's pad, and they were just moving a few bits and pieces around. There's quite a lot there, it has to be said. We've got a ride on uh, the top half of the line. Um, on. I think it, was, it might be during this. The idea is three random items are going to drive a four-way easier layout and hype them and turn them into something else in whichever creative way you can have. And the two points are happy on one of one of the three teams, and that could make a difference between progressing through to the final ball or not. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Well, Judge Steve Flicks, I mean, he has like an open door policy, so he invites us around in the evening, you know, spend a bit of time with Steve, and I've actually stolen three items. From his house, which is basically probably a good thing. I think. Is it that sort of? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. I've basically stolen three items from Steve's house. And the first item is give it some pump. Velcro rollers. Okay, so that's your first item. Some hair rollers. So this is basically watching them filming the um, the notorious scratch build challenge. <laughs> a lot of people felt that this was a bit um, the next item rubbish, is, but actually, actually this is the only point where they mentioned Bear Watch. They didn't show it in the show. No, what you're seeing oh, here is the, the full unedited um, tape. It's they then obviously edit this down. Yeah, but the edited out the reference that was then made in the show as a joke. Hmm. Three video tapes. Now this one has been played to death. It says on it. Series one going on the which I'm Steve Quinn's best bits. <laughs> Who wants it? Nope. You want that? Do it obviously. I would not want it better. It's such a nice one. Man. This one is the best of balance. That was actually Steve Flynn who you saw there ducking oh, at. Oh really? <laughs> okay. And the last one is Bay One. Spring Watch. Oh, I knew it. Right, so there are your three items. Time <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually one of the steepest worked grades um, ever in the UK. It's something like a 1 in 13, which is incredibly steep. And more advert, advert everywhere. Yeah, 
I mean, um, I'm, I think we should probably get back to the model train. Absolutely, I'm happy to, yeah. But it was just kind of interesting to give you a little taste of... Um, we thought it was going to be the Halloween layout, but it turned out... Turned out it wasn't. Yeah. But um, let's have a look at some of your comments. Um, uh, bitch, bash, bosh. Okay. What's the volume better that time? Um, nobody's complained. Oh, right. Ian Ryan says, just one Gronk here, but two, but it runs well. Uh, Fly my chairman one. Will Jinties do? Certainly yes, actually, yeah. Uh, let's get let's give all your shunting locomotives a chance. So Jinties, Midland 1Fs, BT Well Tanks, W4 Packets, B2 Packets, uh, Rustin 48 DSs. Uh, what else have we got? Um... All, all the full range of shunting locos. You've got the Andrew Barclays, P Class, Terriers. Do you we need will accept the rest of this. If you're going to no, chat with people, can I go on there, sit down, and just have some rest? Because I feel terrible. I must. I don't feel great either. I must admit, guys, um, we're both starting to come down with lurgy. So we're not going to go for too long. I'm going to go till half nine, if that's all right. I guess I'll hang around. Um, but uh, and then I think we should have something to eat because I feel a bit dizzy. Um, I'm just gonna lie down on the floor here and go to sleep. J94 says I'm planning on getting the more detailed Class Eight version. Uh, the the Backman versions are actually pretty good. Um, I I'm quite happy to buy and operate both the Backman and also the um, oh, uh, the Backman. And the Hornby uh, super detailed versions, I think, are both really, really good. The Hornby one has the edge, but um, the Batman one still does hold its own. Let's change the camera. These days, you're not allowed to hold anyone else's. Mmm. Practice yes. safe, uh, social distancing. Broughton Junction, a big hello to you from Australia. Um, Brockwell Lane, Man Gaps Farm in Essex imported a Canadian Pacific caboose a few years ago. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> Lester Gilpin says there are a few places in Canada and the US where you can rent a caboose as a luxury holiday accommodation. And there are a few places in the UK where you can rent um, camping coaches. Um, no longer on the on the uh, the main railway, but certainly some preserved lines and other private locations do do them. Uh, Flymo Chairman One, I need to fashion pickups for it, but I've not found the right material for it. The original just broke off one day. Ah, right. Um, yeah, what you need is phosphor bronze strip, quite thin phosphor bronze strip. It has a very good spring to it and is reasonably um, um, springy. No, strong. Failing that, get yourself some um, fairly thick wire, uh, not quite piano wire thickness, but certainly one that will spring a bit, but um, you can fashion a pickup out of. Manthony 1956, I shall endeavour to send you some vintage from my native Amador Valley in California. I went to... Concanon and Mirasu, although I am sure that one can send such items internationally. Oh gosh, that is an incredibly generous offer from you. Um, certainly, I think you can send them. I don't know. So we, how do you send booze internationally? Very, very carefully. Yeah, I think you don't. You you don't draw attention to it. Is the way to do it. Um, Ian Ryan, mine was a non-runner. I got a job lot. Didn't even know it was an 08 until picked it up. It's a diesel from Thomas the Tank Engine. I got it working. To be honest, it looks so much fun running around. Yeah, class eights are really good. Blocks for the win. Mm. David Watts says I managed to get the limited edition Backman Class Eight shunter in LMS Black Spectra. It's very nice. I must admit, it's one that's been on my radar. I just never got round to picking that up. It has to. Uh, it has to be said. Um, Gareth Waite. I have to say, she was nice in person as she was in TV. I think this is. Um, I presume you're talking about Kathy Millett. Yeah, um, she seems a perfectly nice person. Broughton Junction. Would you guys like to review an XPT, the Australian? Re review of the HST um, if the manufacturer uh, wants to send one over certainly happy to review anything from overseas railways um, 
uh, but um, it, it would have to come from manufacturer or retailer. Um, we we can't take um, on loan other people's uh, items no. for review. The, the the reason main reason is uh, what if it got lost in a post or damaged mm. or something like that happened to it. Definitely. And the last thing you want is the disappointment of not getting it back the way you had it. Definitely. I, I wouldn't want to take responsibility for somebody else's model like that. Um, I've borrowed models from manufacturers before, that's fine. And Les Cliff as well lets me review his locos. And as he lives just up the road, it's a lot easier to do. But a big hello to Angus's trains. It's great to have you back. I was just wondering where you were actually earlier on. But of course, um, the time differences have changed. Um... Ian Ryan, yes, volume was a lot better. Thank you. So Excellent. I think we we sorted that out. Brockwell Lane, yes, panniers, absolutely. Um, Mark Wilson, would you not like a blue Pullman or an APT or a HST? Yeah, I would actually like all three of those. It's one of those many things that um, you know, money only goes so far. So uh, I would love um, all of those. Um, I did inquire with Hornby about getting um, HST and an APT for review and uh, basically what they said amounted to and um, they sell really well anyway they sell out every time so we, there's th no benefit to th them there's to no it. benefit to them to send me one to review which is fair enough the blue pullman yes I'd love one of those but they are incredibly expensive Uh, How can Junction says night Zoe lol uh, good night to you you take really good care the growler blackwood end gauge layout says just watch the last 20 minutes while soaking in a lovely hot bath puts a whole new perspective on the trains oh gosh a lovely hot bath you you know all about lovely hot baths don't I you love cupboard them. monkey I do. Mm. Chris Whittingham I'm off now see you tomorrow thanks Jenny and Zoe well thank you very much it's been great thank you for having your along. company um, so we're we're going to be rounding off in the next 10 minutes anyway uh, but um how can junction you can send it through the post but customs will just charge you the import duty right i'm with you leslie gilpin booze best imported wrapped in the bottom of your suitcase yes wrapped in towels and clothes that is exactly how my parents used to do it coming back from family holidays cyber jeff one q1 is my favorite yes yeah, very quirky locomotive Gareth Waite says, yes, I, uh, I met her last year at Wally. Yes, she does do uh, Wally every year. Flymo Chairman 1, thank you, Jenny. I got some shrink wrap now, so we'll find something to do as pickups that can be isolated from my 08's frame. Ian the Train, night, guys. Hope to see you next week. Or are you on tomorrow night if you're okay? Yes, um, the, the Jenny Monday Club. Nothing will keep me away from the Jenny Monday Club. It has to be said. That is something that... Um, you look forward to it every week, I know that. I do. And... Uh, now, unfortunately, the camera that shows me has decided to stop working, but all the others seem okay. So, uh, just Jenny. I think you're just going to get black for some reason. The light's on. It knows the camera's there. It's weird. Mm. But in that case, you have to lead in. Yeah, so... Um, Basically, uh, let's have that shot. I always like that shot. Yes, yes, cupboard monkey. Um, Kent train fan says hello. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry at all. Uh, we're going to be rounding off shortly. I'm not feeling the best tonight. It has to be said. But um, don't forget, you can watch the entire video uh, afterwards. Don't worry about it. Paul Hinder and the wish lists get longer, Jenny. Two right. That the Garrett. Uh, a B12, a class 56, class 35, uh, what else? Quite fancy a class 41 from Kerno Models. Um, I want really want the purple, um, experimental purple A4 from Hornby. Um, I need an 8F. Oh, the list is endless. Absolutely endless. Charleston Eastgate says, Reek, I'm away. Got some new video to edit. Take care, y'all. Well, look, good luck with that. Looking forward to seeing that. Uh, Colin Williams, thanks, Jen, Zoe, and everyone. Great evening. You're absolutely welcome. Ian Ryan says, night, Jenny and Zoe. Hope you stay well. Night, all. Take care and be safe. Catch you all tomorrow. Ian Ryan, smiley face. SF Ratten NZ, really hello to you. 
Uh, hello, just a short visit. Hope you're all okay. Take care from us in New Zealand. Absolutely right. You take care too. And it seems like the whole world has shut down. Mark Wilson says, good night, my dogs. Um, Brian Harper, good night all in the train. Night fly, my chairman. Uh, Ian Ryan, till tomorrow. David Watts, dreaded lurgy, allowing you. See you tomorrow. Uh, absolutely right. Delta James, D Delta Junction James, good night. Jenny and Zoe and all take care and stay safe. Norbert Roll, thanks again for a great live stream. You're absolutely welcome. Stay safe. Bye, everyone from Germany. And don't forget for next week, do send in your videos. And setting a challenge, film some videos of your brake van trains, your shunters trains, all of that kind of stuff, your full brakes, anything like that. We'd love to see those trains running for next Sunday's virtual model railway exhibition. Gordon McIlroy, that back scene by Les is something else. It's gorgeous. Thank you very much. Uh, Les did an amazing job and I do feel honoured that uh, Les was able to do that and uh, waiting for life to get back to normal so that Les can do the other back scene as well for the, the town scene area. Do you think we can get him on the Monday Club tomorrow? Uh, we might be able to. We'll have to work out how to get him up on, uh, on, on uh, Skype or FaceTime. Yeah, so we'll have to liaise with Les. Maybe we can try and get him up as well. Even if it's just audio. Mm. Anfield Road layout in the loft, absolutely right. Press that like button, smash the like button. Don't forget to share this too, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already done so. J. Paul Anderson, evening, Zoe and Jenny. Thanks again. Take care. Cheese, Joaquin. Um, no worries. J. Ninety Four says bye. Trains in the garage. Sorry, just back on. Saw you had Rufford on the stream. Really grateful. Um, thank you ever so much for sending that over. It was great. We really. It was wonderful to see. And. Final comment, Mark Wilson says release Les. So don't forget you can catch us at 7 o'clock British Summer Time, which is GMT plus one, tomorrow night for the Jenny Monday Club. And hopefully we'll have all of the little wrinkles with the software ironed out by then. But until next time, you all take really good care of yourself. I'm going to have to lean in because we've got a big issue with one of the cameras. So am I... Uh, uh, yep, you're in. So... You all take really good care of yourself. This is me, Jenny Kirk, saying take care. Bye for now. <laughs> bye bye. This is the awkward bit at the end of the stream. Isn't ah. it?